Anderson had spent years working on his concerto in C for piano and orchestra. It was his only long-form composition, but after five performances to mixed reviews, he withdrew it. He wasn't satisfied with it. He wanted to rework the first movement. The score gathered dust in his closet for 20 years until shortly before his death. He had played the off-air transcription, which we had of the concerto, which had been when it was performed at Grant Park in 53. And he listened to it, and he said to me, you know, that's not bad. Maybe I ought to do something with it. But he didn't get around to it or write down any changes that he would have made. Leroy Anderson died in 1975 without ever having revised his concerto. He had made this comment about it, and I wondered what other musicians would think of it. Well, I showed it, tried to show it to Arthur Fiedler, who would not even look at it. Then I showed it uh, to someone else who said maybe they could get someone to fix it. I could find another composer that would fix it or rewrite it, and that Leroy was a practical person. He would understand that. But his wife disagreed, and the score remained as he had left it. By the late 1980s, there was renewed interest in this forgotten work. The Cincinnati Pops recorded it, and then in 1999, Canadian concert pianist Catherine Wilson and Pops conductor Skitch Henderson teamed up to record the concerto in Toronto's historic Massey Hall. The concerto is Leroy Anderson's only work that runs longer than his usual three minutes. 